Welcome to the series where we've been discussing the whole miracle money scam, which is what I believe in that it's a scam. If you don't believe that, just you can step aside while I get to discuss this. Now, listen, just like you can't find anywhere in the scripture that title you see right there, God's general, God has no generals. Do you understand? That's the same way you can't find anywhere in scripture miracle money. All right, but you can infer that into scripture. There are many things that Christians believe in that are not exactly in scripture, but can be inferred from scripture. Do you understand? So I am not believing in this concept the way I see it happening in the Christendom today based on what is being defined by those I am showing what they're doing in the name of miracle money. Remember, the only scripture they always use as an example for this calm that runs right now because for something to be accepted by people in a particular fold, you have to find a relevance by relating it to something scriptural. But what is happening right now that these people are throwing out there, you have to understand the essence of miracles as it was in scripture and the essence of miracles as it happens today. It's all about today, it's all about the attention that comes to the man and not really about the glorification of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have to understand that. For example, look at this video I'm seeing here. Ubert Angel, whom I'm yet to come to his own miracle money charade, but I have to take you guys down a deep dive of conversation before I get to him. That's why I'm saving his own analysis for last. He sees himself as a pioneer of miracle money, as the first person to have ever at least started miracle money for it to have, um, you know, many versions or many people having done it, okay? But before we get to him, the next person we are going to be discussing today is the person of Prophet Shepard Bushiri. Now, Prophet Shepard Bushiri and the person of Prophet Ubat Angel have a good relationship. In fact, Shepard Bushiri at the time used to be the person that used to do the hype man for him, or would I say, be like that assistant as well for him, and all that. The same thing also applies to the person of Passion Java. You know, as I'm speaking, I'm showing you all these things so you get to see with your eyes. I don't talk without fact. So, if you have been watching me over time, relevant by association, you can see their relationship and then the pattern of things they get to either do from each other, learn from each other, and they're able to replicate it around across the world. But understand this, the essence of all of these gimmicks and miracles you see right now happening today, would I even call it a miracle or would I just call it a charade that happens today in the name of God? is to bring attention to the man, of course, you would logically say, how come these people are able to command miracle money? Come on, look at the title of this video by Ubert Angel himself as he posted it, the one he came to Awuchi. Look at the title he gave it on his own channel, by the command of Prophet Ubert Angel. Make sure that you listen and that you respond, because through knowledge shall the just be delivered into his inheritance. So that's important. Now, the other thing that the Lord is going to do for you is this. He is giving you a 21-day miracle unction, which means in the next 21 days, you're going to have miracle money. Now, you've got to let your faith open up and go up to God to receive miracle money in the next 21 days. Now, this is amazing because it's already begun. And the third thing is, when I release the anointing in prayer, in the next few seconds, Make sure that you receive it for yourself. So in the next 21 days, a special unction is being released that you can receive miracle money. Now these things happen in Bible days and they still happen. At the giver of all things, you told me that the words of my mouth will not fall to the ground. You told me that whoever I bless shall be blessed. I stand in my office as God's servant, lift up this phone. I command money to enter your account. Yeah. If you have faith here, that event will be better. Yeah. I don't need to shout for you to get wealth. It is spiritual. Stretch that in all. I speak to Zenith bank account. Receive miracle money. I speak to Diamond Access account. Receive miracle money. I speak to UBA. 
Sudasif Maga. I speak to Ancest Man. Sudasif Milako Maga. I speak to Planty Trust Man. Sudasif Milako Maga. When you do me no commanding, God does not give one million. Even if God gives you ten rand, what He's trying to prove to you is, I can provide. He didn't provide lots of money to Peter, only two coins. Coins. Peter, what we are doing here? We are doing dollars. Yeah, he's doing dollars right now. So you are going to see how the dollars come. <laughs> His own miracle money is just so interesting. Oh. But coins to show you that God can do anything. He can do it a miracle, instant miracles. Yeah. Where have you ever seen like someone just pray for a bag and, and dollars are in the bag? So right now, let's get to watch this video together as he gets to perform miracle money in dollars. We just want to watch it together. So you see it like the way I'm seeing it as well. Don't listen to me, just watch it together with me. I believe in miracles, prophet. How much do you have? Money. Uh -huh. In my bank account. No, you, just you. Okay. I think it's over 20,000. In, in your bag? No. In, in my bag, it's 100 and something. What? I think 170. Rand? Yes. Do you believe I can pray? God is going to put dollars in your bag. I believe is as you're watching you're looking at the expression of the people's face because most times i don't really care about the figure heads they stop no i don't care about them i care about the masses the millions the many if i look at the comments i'm saying i receive i receive i receive what is the essence of this like what what why but let's go on right here. Let's see the dollars. Wait, sit down on here. Pick your bag up. Pick your bag up like this. Father, I pray. Do what you did. Drop down your bags. Drop down, drop down, drop down your bags. Drop down your, I'll pray. After praying for her, I will pray for you. So just wait. You have got how much in your in your bag? Hundred and something. Hundred and something what? Hundred and seventy rand. Rands. Yes. Do you like to pray God and put dollars in your in your bag? I believe, prophet. Okay, in Jesus' name. Check your bag now. Open it. essence of things like this do you understand you see the way the, the way the crowd is screaming it's all online it says here shocking prophet Bushiri prays for miracle money in US dollars because they are there in South Africa so God is giving the world <laughs> oh my god god you see all these things happening we still day here at the local anyway it is well so God is giving them there, like the God of uh, Bushiri, is giving the, has given the, even the fifty, even the dollar itself. The, the way is dirty. Ah, even God said, God of Bushiri, you cannot give mint. Eh? You forgive mint, mint dollars now, but you give uh, the tea, the dollar itself. They don't fold them. Ah, forgive mint, mint from heaven. Anyway, but just think. Some of you are going to say in the comments, I don't believe in miracles, I don't believe in this, I don't believe in that. 
So because of that, that is how someone can come and do resurrection miracle until he was exposed and then he came and changed mouth. This one is there on the internet everywhere. That is how this one right here also did turning water into wine with a live audience. I exposed it right here, showed you how he did it. That is how this same Bushiri as well did walking on the air. Miracle. I exposed it right here. I showed you what happened. If you have not watched the videos that are still here. Many of these people, come on. You see, when you see all these things happening, what is the essence of this? Why would pastors have to go to the length of showing this kind of quote-unquote power according to how they see it, according to what they want to show you? What is, why would they go to the length of doing this? Because number one, they need the attention. And number two, they need you to be engrossed in their personality because it has to be about the person. You can't, do you see Jesus? No. But you can see someone that says that he is of him. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Tomorrow right now, if they are exposed, some of you are going to tell me, Oh, all these men of God, they are first of all men before they become of God. So they can make mistakes. If someone intentionally decides to do a gimmick on you, decides to do like all these tricks and all that, and then put it online intentionally, and tomorrow you then sit there and then you are defending the person and saying that, oh, this person can make mistakes. What kind of, like, the process of planning this, the process of making the video, the process of putting them out there, just to mesmerize the crowd. Bushiri right here has done many, many stage miracles right here that everyone sees that is fake. The one he was able to snap, he said he used iPad and he was able to capture a child in the spirit. We saw that. The one that he said he was, he, he was praying and then fire, he was able to make fire to, to come out from, from nowhere. In, in, in Ah, God. And that was just pure, pure science that was happening right there. But for him, people believe we're mesmerized by those things. There are many of them. So if someone is able to fake one miracle, you can assume that this one is real right now. If he's able to fake one miracle, intentionally post it out there, what makes you think the person cannot also intentionally fake more? Because once you're able to do one, you are empowered to do more because you have people that believe in the things you are doing and would follow you no matter what. Even when they see Kuro Kuro that what you are doing there is a gimmick. But you see, when you look at these things, I don't know. Ebe Kuburo no di, where is your brains? Where is your sound mind? Where is it? Right here, because I'm a Christian, I talk more about things that happen in the faith because, of course, there are many wolves in sheep clothing parading themselves and then making a merchandise of the gospel. Ask yourself, if it were Jesus walking this earth because we are supposed to be like Christ, right? Even though the apostles were called Christians out of mockery in Antioch, when people look at Christianity and what is happening right now, is Christianity going to become a mockery? Because of things like this we see happen in the name of Christ. Yet we have a lot of gullible people right there who are able to fathom and then put themselves into this particular space. And when people like me come out and talk and show you these things, kuru kuru, even if the pastor themselves come out, open their mouth and say that this thing was a lie. Whether you believe in miracle money or you don't believe in miracle money. You see the miracle money I'm seeing right now on social media? It is a scam. It's a lie. I don't believe in it. Okay, I'm going to see you in my next video. Have your account credited from unknown sources. Suddenly you just discover that money appeared in your account. Money that is beyond your capacity. You've never seen one million naira in your bank account before. Suddenly you see five million. Bam! Don't call it miracle money. Call the bank. Something does not add up. Money entered my account that does not belong to me. Please check it. Don't go around saying 24 hour miracle. It's miracle money and angel. Angels don't credit accounts. Did you hear what I said? Angels don't credit accounts. Because God is not a criminal. The only people that have the right to credit accounts are banks that are registered officially with the Central Bank of Nigeria. Say I hear. Yeah. Those are the people that have rights to credit accounts. And angels are not staffs of any bank. So they don't credit account. Angels can move people and circumstances and people can credit account. People that can be traced. People that can be identified.
There are no invisible beings that credit account. If anybody taught you that, he played April Fool on your intelligence. Elijah.